And there is a huge uh, uh, family uh, requirement. I mean, I used to tell joking to my mother, look, I have seen all the seven seas in the world, but I have not touched the seashore because I want to give you a sense of comfort. At no point in time, you should worry that your son will go to near water and get stuck. I want to give you that sense of comfort complete. Therefore, I will never go to water body without adequate precaution. So this is the kind of a, uh, an arrangement that the point is like, you know, okay, let's push that a little bit more. Therefore, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, I, I not learned swimming at, at, at the right age. Okay, somehow the slavery did not happen, like, you know, and then somewhere there was a medical requirement, not done really medical requirement, that's a long word. And I, I went to my doctor and I said, you're an Indian, your lifestyle is very complicated. Uh, instead of taking people to Amrit, I start doing some exercise. So I went to the swimming pool, I went to the Amdabad Municipal Corporation swimming pool. Now, many, many of my colleagues would have decided to go to Karnavati Club. I chose to go to Amdabad Municipal Club. Because this is really what I can afford, given my tax paying money. Uh, the Karnavati Club wanted 1 lakh rupees. I didn't want to spend 1 lakh rupees on the membership. And then I pay 500 rupees and swim for the whole year. Okay? Now, at the age of 46, 47, you get into the swimming pool and then put a ridicule to you, like, you know, you are British, pretty can't even swim. Okay? Now, everybody next to you is probably one quarter of your age. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, you know, it goes on. I, I, I read this story for a long time. Like, you know, at one point in time, I told the coach, look, I have a PhD in mathematics. However hard you try, you can't get that. <laughs> okay. But I can learn swimming. Don't act big. Like, you know, if I don't learn swimming, it is not really my problem. It's your problem too. You are the coach, you know. I suppose that I'm learning things from you. It's your responsibility to make sure that I'm able to move. Don't give this story. Like, you know, then, of course, the amount of the night, and then I become, he's sort of the most important customer because you tend to figure out where I'm coming from. And then once you figure out that I'm from I am Ahmedabad, like, you know, and then it become, things become very different. And it so happens the municipal commissioner office, this and that, etc. All those fellows are saluting me a couple of times here and there. So then he positioned me very differently and I become VIP and that's way. The point is, you never give up on your, on your pragmatic ambitions. Now, just because I learned swimming at the age of 47, does it make sense for me to turn around and say, I'm going to compete in the 100 meter Olympic race? I actually timed it, like, you know, uh, it's order of magnitude of difference of about 10 times. I do it in about 10 minutes in style, like, you know, uh, what is the big deal, like, you know. Uh, but, yes, I mean, I, I'm really used to the extent that I can achieve that thing. The, 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 see, the sense of, for example, like, you know, uh, if I appear to be blowing my own drum, I'm one of the most creative fellows around. I may not look like that. I'm extremely creative. Every time I teach a course, I teach it very differently. Every time I do the case, I do it very differently. And therefore, there is a tremendous amount of creativity inside. There is a tremendous amount of hard work that goes into that. And God has assured me with a little bit of Indian. That doesn't mean, see, see the, the whole thing needs a different kind of a setup. See, I can, I, I can possibly do far better than the best consultant in the country. But I don't have the label. Should I work for the label all through in my life or should I work for the joy? Yeah, that's a pragmatic decision. Now, one is not trying to argue, like, you know, uh, because one is making this pragmatic statement, he is not ambitious. He is terribly ambitious internally. But he has to be pragmatic. Now, does it make sense for me to run around and say, like, you know, Abdul Kalam is a great scientist, I am also a mathematician, one day I should become president. Does it make sense? Actually, one of the participants said, I will become the chief minister of Tamil Nadu and you will be my governor. And I told him, don't go and say this anywhere to the other thing. He will first get him killed. Okay, and then he should also get me killed. Okay, this idiot got so mesmerized. Like, you know, he turned around and said, sir, you are such a wonderful teacher. You can do so many things. Like, you know, you must be my advisor. You must become governor. I must become CM. Okay, these are all stupid things. You know, uh, not, not, this is not our PGP. Like, you know, our PGPs are not so stupid. Like, you know, this happens across the table. Like, you know, the executive program. So, let's get completely carried away. Yeah, there are a couple of things which may be worthwhile to sort of you know, share, like, you know, which is uh, like a different platform. I used to think always, like, you know, if you are professional, yes, uh, go ahead, see you later. Yeah, no problem. <coughs> I, I will not bore you to that. I'll take another three more minutes and then stop. Um, uh, uh, I used to think all the time, if you are professional, uh, it will be a position of life which is extremely comfortable. I stand corrected over the period of last 20, 25 years. He will be professional. If you are working in a group of non-professionals, recognition and acceptance can be delayed substantially. 
this is something which uh, one, one has to recognize that over a period of time. For example, you know, uh, if you make decisions not based on personality, but if you make decisions based on the context and the job on hand, that is professionalism. But like you know, it may not necessarily get accepted all the time by others because you are a professional, but the others are not. And therefore, uh, your own acceptance, your own uh, contribution, ability, willingness, size of the contribution, all those things can change. That may come in a little handy when you are in a workplace. The second thing that I uh, used to value all the time is like, you know, expressing freely and frankly your opinion. I realized it over a period of last 20, 25 years. Uh, it's a great virtue, but it can be a great handicap. It's such a great virtue, like, you know, you have nothing to hide. You live a clean, straight life. But like, you know, in the process, you pick up large number of enemies because what people remember is not the good things you did to them. They only remember the bad things you did to them. Like, you know, somebody gave me an example yesterday, and apparently one of the Tamil movies, like, you know, uh, somebody wanted to explain how people remember things. Like, you know, he took a large piece of white sheet of paper, a rectangle paper, and put a dot, a, a, a black dot on the paper, and asked the fellow, what do you see in this? He said, I only see the black dot. Now, he may be such a, such a wonderful person, but what people remember is not what you did to them, but how you hurt them at some point. Therefore, it, while it's a great idea to think, let me tell you this, like, you know, if you are smart, there are a large number of enemies. If you can think three times faster than the other guy, the guy feels absolutely stupid. And what can you do? Like, you know, I, we used to have a director here by name, Pradeep Kandwala. Uh, I can talk about it because he's no more than his office. Now, he is a, he's a wonderfully fine person, brilliant thing. Now, he's one fellow whom you feel like playing chess with him because like, he can think so fast. Now, the only way of closing a deal with him is think faster than him. See, if you, if you go with him, you have a problem. And if you let him to make a decision, he will not change. So, what you do is you put the problem there. Before he says, you give him three options. Then you choose one of them. But if you keep quiet, he will give his option. Now, there were many times like, you know, you don't get people of that kind. If you think faster, that could be your enemy. If you openly, if, if, you, if you clearly, see, you have to sort of know, realize that while you must have opinion, you may not necessarily voice it all the time. See, this coming from me could be a very, uh, a kind of an artificial kind of a thing because, like, you know, uh, everybody knows, for example, like, you know, even the correct director, uh, if I sit in a meeting and if I keep quiet for long, he will turn around and ask me, what is wrong? Because that is not an acceptable behavior of Ravi Chandran. Now, Ravi Chandran will talk and talk fearlessly whatever comes to his mind. And there is a logic behind it. Now, while it's a virtue, it can harm your overall societal acceptance. So, as young people, when you go to work, uh, keep this in mind. It's a great idea to think faster, but you don't have to exhibit it all the time. It will be a great idea to be very honest and transparent, but you don't have to be loud about it. Now, third, it's good to be professional, but don't expect others to be professional. You can be professional, but don't expect others to be professional. I think these are the two, three things which I sort of know, uh, picked up as we went. For example, like, you know, I was so rude and angry to Devna in one of those classes, like, you know, but this guy had the generosity to come back and connect me. He deserved all that. That's a different matter. Okay, because on that day, he deserved all that completely and thoroughly because I was not biased to him. But I was, I, I was reasonably harsh on him. Okay, because of the, because of the kind of intolerance that I have for shorting work. Okay. But then he also had the generosity to come back and say, okay, uh, this, this, this gentleman, for example, you know, for a while, he will not make eye contact with me. It used to happen, like, you, know, you try to avoid me for long. You try to avoid me for a couple of weeks. Like, you know? And then slowly, slowly, he sort of you know, changed his orientation and started making eye contact. And then like, you know, he came home, we chatted, not privately, like, you know, whenever he was invited. I mean, I'm saying that purposely because he was not trying to subsidize the whole, whole relationship. Now, I think you, you need to have, not many people will have the generosity to accept people as they are. And therefore, they may feel hurt. And if they feel hurt, they can harm you. So, my, my broad sense of uh, guideline would be, think fast, but don't exhibit it. Be professional. Don't expect others to be, uh, to be professional. Now, when you have opinion, you don't have to voice it unless and until it's called for. That may be a kind of a useful way of navigating the very complex, uh, contrary general. <laughs> Well, I think uh, that should bring us to an end of this discussion for our days. I don't know whether I wasted your time, but uh, you guys asked for it. Uh, okay. uh, and uh, uh, as I told you, like, you know, uh, I enjoy uh, every bit of my relationship with the students. And in whatever form it comes, and uh, I'm very proud of this job. And uh, uh, I hope I, I continue to be worthy of this job.
that I think is an internal uh, process. Uh, well, that I'll be saying good luck to you, and I think great process is on, I'm sure you'll do very well in life. And uh, great pleasure, and have a great time. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>